Welcome back to Late to the Party. I am getting more and more impressed with the actual story of Separate Ways. It really shows Ada in a different light than when we normally see her. And I think this episode in particular is really showing some more of her emotions than anything else. And how she's kind of juggling that with all of her espionage work. So... I say we get right into it. We have a couple boss fights, including a crazy one with one of the main villains of the game. So I hope you're ready for it. Let's get back into our separate ways DLC. Okay, so end of last episode. For anybody who didn't watch, first off, if you didn't watch, what the hell? Go watch. Two... Am I supposed to go the whole way down there? I'm going to try and go down that way and see what happens. Two, I maybe did a controversial thing or two at the end of last episode. And one of them was I upgraded the TMP like a decent amount, honestly. Um, I, I really think that it might be like... A really good gun so I'm gonna keep oh I can just do this what the fuck wish I would have known that last time um I am just gonna keep like trying to upgrade it because if I can get the one and a half times power on that too I do think that that's a better gun than I'm giving it credit for Especially for how many bullets there are. Okay, so I was supposed to go this way, basically. Wait a minute. Oh, hold up. No, 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 no. Not yet, not yet. Yo, that was dumb on my part. Sorry, everybody, but... You think... I'm going to see a treasure on the map and not go get that shit, brother. You ain't been watching then. You ain't actually a fan then. Because if there's one thing I do, go out of my way for treasure. I'm a greedy little pirate. Shut the hell up. We're looking pretty good on ammo, too. I think with upgrading all the damage... Alright, just hear me out. Hear out my crazy, like, thought process here. Since I know I'm probably going to get some shit for the TMP thing. Um, Just hear me out, though. The more I upgrade the TMP, the more ammo I save for my other guns for things like boss fights. Reasonable, question mark? I sure think so. Especially... And I guess we're going to test the theory here. Especially if I can get a whole lot of ammo. You see what I'm saying? Look at all of the ammo we have there and all the ammo we're saving there. I think it's worth it, personally. But we're going to find out, I guess, because I haven't really tested the theory a ton. Totally worth it, though. Why is there still stuff over here? I already did this. (laughs) 
so... Yeah, there's no point in me going through there again. Because it does kind of take a little while, and is a point. I'm trying to purposely kill it up here. There we go. They're giving me a shit ton of gunpowder, man. I am not complaining about this. And guess what we're doing with this one, too? Boop. Crazy. Okay. That helped a lot. Um. Wow. I'm very surprised at how quickly this TMP, like made my life easier we love to see it brothers and sisters I might keep upgrading it then honestly welcome oh what you buy uh, can't tell you that I don't really remember what we were gonna do next here I don't think we really have a plan Okay. I do think now we're supposed to, you're sure to find something you're go this way. I'm loving the TMP right now. I, I'm like blown away. Sorry if I'm not shutting up about it, but like literally... Any game, anytime we've ever played any of the Resident Evil so far, I just avoid the submachine gun because I just don't think it's going to be that good, no matter how much I upgrade it. And I'm being proven wrong, so I think as long as you have decent aim, any of the guns are viable. If you don't want to have to have decent aim... I feel like this gun's actually pretty good for that. Because it's just kind of... Like, yeah, you, you do have a certain range, but when you start to shoot, it bounces around, so... This doesn't look good. This is clearly a uh, fight of sorts. Yeah. We have so much room to work with right here. Oh, shit. Okay. That upgrade to that shotgun just torched that dude. Holy shit. The upgrades I did in general, because I think... I don't think they were expecting in the DLC for you to... Maybe get that much money, because I got that crown. But, like... It was way, way easier than the fight I was expecting. Every other time we fought that dude... 
it's taken a bit, honestly. And, uh... That was not bad at all. Damn, we have literally the most shotgun ammo we've probably ever had. And it's not even particularly close. I'm just gonna eat both of these, because gross, and I want to get them out of the way. Wow, dude. Nuts. Okay, yeah. Let's make sure we didn't leave anything, though, because... Hey, you got... It's fun. Nothing else, right? Ooh. Blast arrows. Don't need them, but we can sell them. I remember when I was going to start playing Resident Evil, and I thought to myself, it's going to be really tough to play in third person. And honestly, it's going to be hard for me for the next game to not be in third person anymore. Because I'm so used to it at this point. Um, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to see... I think first person probably makes it scarier. So I think that's probably most of why people would consider seven much scarier because if it, if it was third person, you wouldn't even, it wouldn't make you jump as much. But the next one is gonna be scary as hell. And I am not looking forward to it, honestly. But I am a man of the people and we, have to play it. Very excited for eight though, so I'm gonna try and speed run seven maybe. <laughs> and it would be my second time playing that one because You again I've only ever played one Resident Evil before. And it was seven with a friend. Why is my boy here already? Uh, I don't think I have any. Oh, yeah, no, I do. I still have a ton, actually. Bro, this is crazy how much ammo I'm getting. Welcome. Got a selection of good thing. Good luck to you, stranger. I just kind of want to upgrade this, kind of this TMP. Just because we already stranger. upgraded these ones the Little whole way before. Goes a long way. I want to try something different. See, see if we're idiots for it or not. A new gun, stranger. Pleasant travel. Oh, let's save real quick, because this is clearly a boss fight coming up. If you guys didn't get the memo, clearly seems like a boss fight, so. All right. Seven is the only one that I had played before with a friend, and it was terrifying. So I was honestly worried for a long time when I knew that I was going to play Resident Evil next. I kept thinking to myself, oh no, you know, this is going to be an incredibly scary game. And I, like, am not a huge fan of playing scary games. I'm fine with scary movies, but playing's a completely different thing. But it wasn't nearly as scary as seven. None of them have been nearly as scary as seven. So I was pleasantly surprised. Come on now. Needless to say, you guys have helped me realize that yet again. So thank you. Now let's kick the shit out of this guy.
Nice. I wanted to know what it looked like. Yes. Oh shit. Don't like that. Time to end this Yo. Honestly, I just have way too many of these. I'm assuming this is going to be one of those places where I can't come back. Shit, dude. I'm getting my shit rocked right now. That was a close ass boss fight. Yeah, hold up. I'm just making sure I got everything here. I'm not leaving this area until I know that for sure. Because I am not. Whoop, wrong thing. I know you fucking do this type of shit. Yo, that's crazy, though. That was sick because this is the person that we've been reading all the lore about. This is the housekeeper, dude. Holy shit, at phase two. Explosives or anything. I should do this though. Can I do it again yet? No. Mm -hmm.
you're not getting away. There we go. I was gonna say what. I'm honestly just trying to pick up ammo and shit right now. I feel like that suppressant thing. Well. Now, to find Luis. Holy shit. Well, I'm sure we're feeling better now. Yeah, you got any, uh, you got anything good on you? Data. A bad guy. Krauser just stole the amber. Leon's fighting him now. I'm on my way. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make it. I'll send you my files. They should help. The amber, Luis. Where is it? I did forget that Luis dies. I do think it's interesting how quickly we're moving through all the different like areas that we did in the original game like the hive and all this type of stuff like that's interesting I like that they're doing this but again I'm hard to displease so I'd love to know what you guys think I really would I'm just gonna use it because, like, whatever at this point, honestly. I just love the little extra sounds that they do in the game, like things like that. Love it. So well done. So impressed.
gotta make sure there ain't nothing here for me. Leon, there's only time to say this once, so listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, you might get there before she turns into one of them. Uh, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, she was you should. feeling something there. Nice. Yeah. What I love about this is that this is implying that maybe Ada is the reason Leon is good as he is most of the time. Like, it's not just because he's Leon. Like, yeah, Leon's great, don't get me wrong. But, like, Ada definitely contributes to a lot of his success throughout uh, the series, clearly. dive into here this is gonna end great bro i'm going to literally explode your head open like a watermelon Ooh. i don't know what way i'm quote unquote supposed to be going I'm assuming I can't go there yet, though, because that is a giant gate. It is not unlocked, so... Yeah, that... Come on. Do you guys end up getting rid of all of the enemies in an area? Are you like me, or am I one of the only people that does this? I would love to know what other people do. Because I just don't feel complete unless I just absolutely torch the crap out of them, you know? Personally, I don't feel complete, so... Oh, hell yeah, dude. That was sick as hell. Damn, dude. You're sure to find something you'll find. Seen any of those nasty giant insects about? There are three hiding somewhere around here. Take them out before things get any worse. Defeat three Nova Staters. Path of Penitent. Path of Penitence in nearby cliff. Uh, 
I guess we're gonna find it out. I'm surprised the music's still playing like this, honestly. Ooh, what you buying? Good luck to you, stranger. Okay, that's worth a lot at least. A deal well struck. How good is, are these? Damn, it's the best ones too. Self killed now. Welcome. <sighs> Your weapons are in good hands, mate. I'll spare you off as you wished. Okay. We'll come back anytime. Catch me. Catch me being ignorant with my purchases right now. Catch me going absolutely ignorant. Forgetting that I can use this knife more than I do, honestly. Yo, what's up, dumbass? Son thought he was gonna roll up to the birthday party and not get clapped up. Scumbag. Oh, hell yeah. Give me a shit ton with that. I got 15 extra bonus for that craft. I'm just going to go sell these real quick, actually. Because they're literally worthless to me. Let me make sure there's nothing else here. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. More gunpowder, too. Uh, I'm going to keep it for now. Good I can only make one thing, and I, I would like to have options here. I can feel it. Welcome. Ooh, what are you buying? Uh, what was I selling? Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Oh, that's right. Damn, five of them. A deal nice. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a first aid too, cause I think that's worth it. Cause we are kind of running out of health stuff, but I'm sure they're also gonna give us some sooner rather than later too. So it's not quite the end of the world that we don't have it right now. It's just not preferable. Ciao, feel. guys really took some extra bullets that was way more than normal i feel like against those type of dudes i feel like i can usually take their like head off after like three bullets normally but that was more than normal
Yeah, let's make sure I get everything first before I start moving to certain areas. I just love this crazy, like, weird, funky music constantly going on in the background right now, too. Finally, dude. I have been waiting to get one of these to combine forever. Shit. Shit. I see what I did wrong there. Well... Wait, so what happens if I do... So what does this do? Oh, so it automatically increases my maximum health. Totally worth it then. Okay. The only reason you want the red a part of it is so that you can use it as like a... Oh shit card. More or less. That makes more sense. Oh, shit. that the first time through I guess it wants me to go that way so I'm going this way first I'm gonna hold up a second depraved idol Interesting. Oh, we can sell that one right away. Let's go talk to our boy. Get that shit real quick, then bounce the fuck out of here. You're sure to welcome. Got a selection of good thing, a deal well struck. <laughs> Dazzled, are oh, you? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> All right, here we go. I gotta wait for a large because. I don't even know what I picked up. What did I pick up? Oh, I just picked up more of these. Okay, cool. Which actually now I do have the lesser one. Oh, I gotta fight Krauser or something right now. Lights out. Fucking clip that one, brother. Look at that shit. Blasted him to kingdom come. Absolutely tortured him.
Put him in a blender, brother. Great on ammo right now too. As far as I'm concerned at least. Oh shit. come from I think, and I don't know if I'm just learning this for the first time, but I think the more, no, I'm not learning it for the first time. This seems like something that makes sense at least. The more you're like aimed in on when you're using the guns, I think the better, the more damage you do. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't even see that there. So, I mean, that's good to know, at least. Okay, now, now I feel like we're doing better on shotgun ammo again. Now uh, that that's figured out and fixed. Make sure there's nothing else up here. Nope. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I know what we didn't do. Path of Penance has three of those things. And we want spinels in this house, brother. So it said this and Cliffside Edge, too. Which means there's one over here somewhere. I just need to know what one of them looks like. You know? So let's go look. There's one. Whoa, no, I have to do all that again? Okay, well, I might as well get rid of this first. That's fine. I actually know how to kill those guys faster now. So, it's annoying, but that one's on me. God, that's funny. Alright, Path of Penance. 
This is the path of penance. So where the hell is this other guy? I'm assuming he's probably going to be on the ceiling again, right? Don't you think? I mean, maybe not, but... I feel like they wouldn't give me this for no reason. Oh, well, I mean, they did for that reason. Tell me. What am I missing here? What am I missing? I guess there's probably only one more out in here. And then one more on the cliff's edge. Or maybe there's two on the cliff's edge. Because it didn't really give us like an understanding of that. I also could have completely missed where these are. And I promise you, I will look it up if I can't figure this out. Because I want those spindles, brother. Alright, I'm going to assume the next one is... on the cliff's edge, but I'm going to look up here real quick, too. Mm, not considered the bad dependent. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Your valuables won't do you much What was the thing I was going to sell? Oh, I already sold it to him, I think. Yeah, because I just saved you. Don't see him on the wall anywhere. I'll look. I'll continue to look as we, like, go out the right way. But I'm pretty sure the third one's probably got to be outside, right? Damn, I almost fucking did it again to myself. Triple thread, baby. Absolutely capping their asses to hell. You know how it'd be. Damn, brother. I forgot that I could shoot that. Okay. Now. Did I even grab the stuff down there this time? Great. 
Thanks for giving me literally nothing for doing that, basically. Why did I just skip those crates back here, too, by the way? That was stupid. Okay, let... Maybe the last one. So it does say cliffside, which makes me think, like, ooh, is it in a weird area? Like... Like, it makes me feel like it's... like actually cliffside you know what i mean but i guess this is cliffside too so just really gotta look at the rock closely as i go past it is all is that no right okay just making sure Nothing, nothing, nothing. I just want to make sure that it's not going to, like, force me out of the area before I can get it. You know what I mean? Because it does that shit in this game. I'm not a huge fan. Well, I mean, it only does it in the DLC, but still. I think I'm missing it. I think it's somewhere around here, and I'm not seeing it yet. It's done. Let's go collect. Because I know our boy is right there. God knows when he'll be back. Let's go collect, bro. That was like eight, I think. Oh, and I got some gunpowder on the way through that I forgot about. Fire. Works for me. It's sick, though. I doubt he has anything new to trade, so I'm not going to buy anything quite yet. Well, look at you, mate. What can I interest you in? I'm not touching any of this until we figure out if he gets anything like crazy good. I feel like we're gonna have a boss fight here. That's why I'm not trying to finish. Like trying to end it right there. Cause we are getting close on time, but I think we might have a little surprise before we're done today. Still no large though. I need, I need a large. It's been a while. Actually, I want shotgun ammo. Yeah, much, much better. I feel like I pick up submachine gun ammo way more often than I do shotgun, so. 10 bucks says we get a fucking cutscene right now it's when I hit this thing. Good thing I went back, huh? Ashley! Liana! Such a fool, Mr. Kennedy. You have been bestowed with lower settlers' grades. I get to fail! Good boy. Just 
keep him busy a little longer. Krauser has possession of the Amber. You continue to disappoint me. I'll have it back before long. See that you do. The mission must proceed as planned. Understood. <laughs> Gotta keep the client happy. Okay, maybe there isn't a boss fight. I'm going to end it with uh, creepy voices all around me. Does that sound reasonable to you guys? <laughs> you want to hear the creepy, creepy voices with the outro? Uh, <laughs> no, you don't. Um, I'd say we got a lot done this game. Um... This story is super interesting, though. I'm really glad that they gave us, like, more of the housekeeper. Um, I knew that they were one of the, like, bigger bugs around Ramon. But I had no clue that they were, like, that crazy underneath all of that. Um, so that was a sick boss fight. I'm excited to see what we end up doing with Krauser or, like, how this is going to go. But... I'm really curious to know what the final boss is going to be and if it's still going to be like Sadler or or what's going to happen. But we're getting kind of close to the end, I think. So it's only going to keep ramping up from here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and make sure to hit the bell. I'm purposefully saying both of those things because I don't know how they feel about me saying the other words for it. So I think you know what I mean. But if you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, including the ending of this DLC and then the continuation of the Resident Evil series, make sure to hit that bell so that you get notified in the future of all those different videos. Anyway, see you guys next time.